Hello and welcome guys. So in this video, we are going to make a fruit and vegetable recognition system. So for this, I'm going to use the data set from Kaggle. So this is our data set, fruits and vegetable image recognition data set. Okay. So in this data set, we have three types of folder and these folders consist of 36 directories. Okay. So we have 36 classes of fruits and vegetable images. Okay. Here we have, this is a list of all the fruits contained by this data set okay and this is the type of uh, vegetable which is in the data set so we have almost 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 classes of fruits and 26 classes of vegetable okay so this is our data set in which we have 36 classes of fruits and vegetable okay in this project what we are going to do we are going to train our model on this 36 classes of image and we are also going to do a single prediction because i have seen a lot of comments that please make a video how to perform single prediction so in this project we are going to do a lot of things a lot of more things you will learn so all of your doubts will be resolved in this project video okay so first of all we will do all the data pre-processing and these things and also i will tell you how you can uh, connect your google drive with google collab because in this project we are going to use google collab so i will tell you how you can connect your uh, how you can upload your data set to google drive and connect google drive with google collab to access the data set okay so we will also we will understand these things and then we are going to use some new parameters uh, these things what is levels what is level mode class mode color mode what is the value of why we are setting the value level mode is equal to categorical these things we will understand later what is this parameter and what if we change the parameter what if we change this categorical to binary or categorical to something else uh, like in teaser what will it happen why we are using these parameters we will understand later in the project videos okay and test image processing we will also do training image processing and test image processing uh, here it's not test image it is a uh, validation image processing okay and we will also understand what is the meaning of test image and what is the meaning of validation image as you see here we have three folders train test validation so what is the meaning of test and what is the difference between test and validation these things also we will understand uh, in coming project videos okay after this we have a model building phase in which we may we build our model and do training and also we are going to record this uh, complete training process in a separate variable training history and i will also going to tell you here how you can save your model and how you can record your training history because no you can't every time train your model if you want to analyze your model performance then you can't train every time and record history because it's a very time taking process so we will understand how you can record your history in json format and what is these things we will understand later and uh, then we will calculate accuracy and we are also going to do a visualization of training accuracy training set accuracy on with respect to number of apex what is the variation of training set accuracy by increasing apex from 0 to 30 okay and we are also going to do a visualization of validation accuracy what is the validation accuracy variation with increase in number of apex by this visualization we can uh, analyze your, our model performance so in this testing fruit dot uh, ipnb file here we are going to do a single prediction as we have already saved our model here in the form of train model dot h5 file i will tell you how we can how we have saved this model so here we are going to uh, first of all we are going to import our required library and we will load our model and we will try to visualize and perform prediction on single image okay for example I, here i have taken the cabbage image of cabbage and 
here I'm going to do a single prediction so at last I got that it's a cabbage okay I will also make a bonus video for that how we can uh, make a confusion matrix for this data set by using C bond library how you can do beautiful visualization of com confusion matrix these things we will also learn in this project video okay so this is a complete project video which I am going to implement uh, part by part I will do completely I will write each and every line of code and I will explain you why we are writing these lines what is the use of these things okay so that's all for this video we will meet in next video thank you thank you guys for watching this video